guys, what's up? It's Andrea and welcome back to my channel. We're in a different place because I'm rearranging my room. Welcome to, what even is this? My mirror? There you go. Welcome back to my channel. I am so, so happy that you're here. I love you so much. Thank you for being here and supporting me. It means so much to me. Genuinely, I just want you to know. <laughs> ton of you guys on Instagram I had a few different video ideas and I could not decide which one I wanted to do so I asked you guys of the top five which one would you most want to see me do this week and you guys answered and you were so cool about it the two top ones that I got were a slime room tour which is technically not a room you'll see you'll see and the second one that you guys requested was actually what we're doing today we can make a giant cake out of foam I have a gigantic bag of foam beads and we're gonna try and use the whole thing and make a gigantic, like super extra, super huge, amazing cake. If you guys want to be included in the next poll that I do, I'm actually going to be having a poll next week on what video you guys most want to see me make. That's actually going to be on Twitter, so if you want to get involved in that, definitely go ahead and follow me. If you like this video, if you think it's cool, if you want to see more giant things, then definitely give this video a thumbs up. I'm aiming for 10,000 likes in the first day. I know you guys can do it. If you like me, you can subscribe to me because I make new videos every single week, twice a week, most of the time. While we're talking about subscribing, you should definitely go ahead and hit notifications while you're down there because if you didn't know, if you're new to this channel, we have this thing called the Notification Fam. Here are some of the newest members. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for being here. I love you so much. So, yeah, just join that. Let's get on with the trying to make a cake. I don't know, vote right now. Is it gonna fail? Is it gonna be great? Let me know how, how much you trust my ability to make something that looks like food. I don't trust me. <laughs> so let's get on with the video. Hey you guys, welcome to the DIY. Okay, so a few things. First of all, I lost the footage of me scenting this slime. I promise you it's all birthday cake scented, so it's like a really sweet, kind of buttery smell. I have no idea what happened to that footage, but it does smell, I promise. Also, um, I did not film the entire mixing of this. It took me about an hour and a half, and I was going a little bit crazy mixing all of the slime. So much slime. <laughs> Seriously though, my arms really hurt. <laughs> no joke, I actually sat on the floor and contemplated my life choices at that point. But now what we're doing is just taking little bits of that slime just because it's more manageable to do it in small pieces and then just dunking it into the foam beads and I keep mixing until it's a nice texture. You'll know when foam is a nice texture because it has to be stiff enough that it doesn't immediately flatten out when you have it because that is the texture that you need to make a cake. And here were my inspiration cakes. I wanted a funfetti cake. I know I wanted like a pastel pink frosting and I thought about doing a rainbow cake, but let's be honest, we're probably gonna mess this up. I really didn't wanna do all the colors. So I will say, if you have enough sprinkles that you could do all the batter with just sprinkles, that's definitely the perfect color and the perfect, just it looks like funfetti cake batter. I loved it so much, but I didn't have enough plain like clay sprinkles to make the entire batch so I decided to add some foam beads just to add extra color so that it looked really nice for you guys and if you're wondering I did actually get all of these foam beads off of eBay you just search for foam beads they'll come up really regretting the orange ones so I'm not even gonna lie there also if you guys want to make this recipe along with me but you know in like a normal size I am going to have a recipe up on my blog in the next few days, so definitely go check that out. And while I'm talking about my social media, if you ever want to see a longer mixing video, maybe you wanted to see me fully mix in these sprinkles, all you have to do is go to the Peachy Babies Instagram. I normally put different little behind the scenes videos up on there. So this is what it looks like when it is finally done. I really loved it. I thought it was cute. Now we're moving on to the frosting. Remember I mentioned that I wanted pink frosting. What I did was I took some of that slime that we made in the beginning. I mixed, um, I believe one and a half packages of eight ounce packages of Model Magic in with it. And then we are just dyeing that pastel pink until it looks like we want it to look. I did butter slime instead of regular slime for this because that way it would be thick enough that it wouldn't just melt off the cake. It was actually a really good solid texture. So now what we're doing is, I, <laughs> this is a baking pan, probably make sure that you wash this if you're going to use it. Um, but I took a spring form pan, covered the bottom in parchment paper so that it wouldn't stick, 
and then closed the entire pan off. So this is going to be the base, it's going to hold everything together, especially if you have made a softer slime. This will keep it together a little, a little bit longer. <laughs> So what we did is I just took a layer of that Funfetti slime foam and we put that in there making sure to press all of the air out of the foam. Do you know what I mean? Just making sure it's really compact. That will keep it from deflating a little bit longer. Then I took a really thin layer of that pink frosting, put that on there, making sure all the edges were completely covered over. You didn't want any spare patches that didn't show the frosting. Then taking another layer of that fun fatty batter. Ooh, I love this stuff so much. It's so cute. And then just, you know, doing the same thing, covering it over. It's overall pretty easy. There are a few mistakes that I made, and I'll totally point those out to you guys so you don't make them. Um, but this part, I feel like I got pretty solid. So now we are taking the final layer of frosting and putting that on the top. If you really want to, when you get it out of the springform pan, you can frost the sides. I think it's going to be prettier if you can see the layers. And then we're just doing the exact same thing we did with all the other layers, just making sure that it looks flat. If you want a smoother top, all you have to do is just let it sit for a few extra minutes and it will flatten out. It'll be really cool. So we added the extra sprinkles on top of that and here is my first mistake guys. I forgot which way the springform pan opened up. I was trying to shake it out the bottom which um, kind of made it go flat because I was shaking it. Then I realized that you actually have to push the springform part up from the top like I'm learning how to do right now. So that was my first mistake. My second mistake was I forgot to set a camera up so you guys could see the layers. But you can kind of see them right here so it's like layers of cake and then layers of frosting. Ugh, I feel so bad. I, sh I, oh, I wanted to remake it for you guys, but I didn't have enough ingredients, so I'm really sorry about that. Second mistake. I feel like this turned out really well. It didn't immediately fall out. It looked really good from the sides. I should have taken the parchment paper off before I started cutting it because you see I'm trying to pick it up and the parchment stuck to it. I completely forgot that it was under there so I thought that I had messed something up. So instead of taking a slice of cake out, I decided to just start stretching it. I mean, just imagine if this was a real cake. What would somebody do if you started doing this to their cake? Slimers in real life, uh, am I right? Yep, there you go. The parchment, gone. You can kind of see the layers there too, but this is what the whole cake looks like. I think it's so cute. I love how the layers looked and it stretched really nice as well. And also, for all of you guys who decided to follow the blog recipe and make these at home, you don't need to make an entire cake. You could either do this with cupcake tins, so you made smaller ones, or you could take any kind of container you wanted and follow this DIY. So this is like the miniature version for people who don't want to waste two gallons of glue. Um, basically the same thing, just put a little layer of the cake, put a little layer of the frosting, a little bit more of the cake, and then if you have room you can put frosting on top. I guess I decided to do more cake, and then it makes like a little, a little cupcake mug. I think it looked super, super cute. I love these a lot. I will definitely be selling these in my shop this week. Also, can we just like keep that unicorn paper in the background? That's going to be in the phone case DIY I'm doing this weekend. So excited for you guys to see that too. And then here is what it looks like all mixed up. Just really pretty. It's, it's almost like the cake batter. It's, it's just pink. Basically the same thing. And here is the giant, giant, giant version. And not even kidding, this is actually one fourth of the slime that I made because if you look further past the camera, there's actually two more containers of the um, batter and then a container, yep, I'm showing you right now, and then a container of the frosting as well. Literally so much slime, I'm not even joking. I was so overwhelmed once I finished this DIY. I'm like, what do I do with all of this? So that was, that was it, if you're wondering, this is not the whole thing. 100% I have 
four more containers of this out there. I just didn't want to mix it because I kind of wanted to sell some of them for you guys because I think they look super cute in the little cups. Um, did the cake work? No. Do I recommend making a slime cake? Honestly, overall, you totally could do it. It's just the thing is for it to be thick enough to actually turn into a cake and stay a cake, you'd literally have to stiffen your slime to the point where it wouldn't even be fun to play with. And it's like, what's the point in that? Do you know what I mean? It's It's been four hours. If you can't tell, I'm really tired. I'm also a little bit annoyed because my cake didn't stay in the four. Uh, but I hope you liked it anyways. I hope you enjoyed the giant slime. Don't forget there's a thing coming up. I actually filmed this like after I made the slime versus before. So the end outro that you're about to see is something that I filmed before I filmed this, which means that I was, I was a lot happier because I had no idea how hard it would be to make a slime cake. I'm just gonna go play with my my giant cake batter slime. Literally, this is only a fourth of it. I just didn't want to bring the entire thing in here because I didn't want to drop it. Do you know what I mean? Like, this is really heavy. So, there you go. Did you imagine that this is what one fourth of two bottles of glue would look like? Me neither. And that was it for the video. Did you guys like it? I have no idea if I liked it or not because I haven't filmed it yet. Like I said before, there is actually a giveaway going on. If you guys want to win a container of this slime, it's not going to be in cake form because I don't think I can ship that, but it's going to be a container and it's super pretty and super cute. Um, I actually did something and um, you might have seen it, you might not have, but I have hidden a six letter code in this video. So it's frame by frame. There are six frames in this video that have a letter in them. So the first person who can send me the correct six letter code, you have to DM it to me on Twitter. So again, here's my Twitter. The first person to DM me the code gets the slime, gets to win the slime, gets a piece of the slime cake. I'll see you guys this weekend with another DIY. It might be tomorrow. It might also be a little bit later in the week because I'm pretty busy this week. Um, but yeah, it's going to be amazing. I know you guys are going to love it. I love you so much. I will see you very, very soon. Goodbye. Hopefully my setup will be better by the time you see me again. I love you. Goodbye.